are cooking with Debbie B. Today we're going to make grandma's cucumbers and onions. Simple, easy, but if you don't get the right combination, it can be disastrous. Too much water, you lose your flavor, too much vinegar, not enough sugar. You've probably tried it and forgot about it. So today we're going to teach you how to do the simple cucumbers and onions. It takes five minutes. Put it in the refrigerator. It's good for any picnic. All right, to get started, we're going to have one cup of sugar. And I don't measure everything and swipe it right off. Grandma never did either. She always said, I just put this in and that in. That's all we're going to do. One cup of sugar, half a cup of vinegar. I like the apple vinegar. Distilled vinegar is okay. You can use it but grandma used apple vinegar. So that's what we're gonna do there. And you wanna do this ahead of time because if you don't, it's not gonna be ready for your cucumbers and onions. While you're doing your slicing your cucumbers and your onions and stuff, this will dissolve and make that flavor that you're wanting. Alrighty, then you want two cups of warm water, not cold. Cold won't dissolve your sugar. Hot will wilt your cucumbers and they won't be crisp. Now, you want to stir this. It's going to be a little thick in the bowl. You don't want to add no salt. Salt will ruin your sweet and sour, your vinegary taste. If someone likes salt, let them salt it at the end. We're going to let that sit while we slice up our onion and cucumbers. Some people like them thin, some people like them thick. I just slice it. You know, you're gonna have some people like them whatever. So, thick ones, thin ones, picnic. And then just drop those in there. Stir them around a little bit, let them start soaking. And then we'll go on to our next cucumber. You want two cucumbers medium to large, one medium onion. Alrighty, now we're cutting our onion. Our onion, you don't want too thick. You like it thin, um, because when you put it in there, in your onions and whatever, you want that flavor to go through your um, thing. When you put it in there, you just, you just break this up. Just break them up in there and drop them in, just like this. Drop them in there, like this. That one's a little too thick. We're going to have to cut it again. And if you get one too thick, just cut it in half like this, like that. Put it in there, because some people just want a little nibble of it. Gives that flavor in there. You want to mix it all up. Get that in there like this. There you go. Let that set overnight. Myself personally, I like I like them fresh like right now. I like to eat them while they're crisp and crunchy and they got that flavor going on. You can eat them right now if you want or let them set overnight. And thank you for cooking with Debbie B.